Hi everyone and welcome to my knitting journal. This is episode 21 um, of my YouTube journals on knitting. Today I have two finished projects. I have some stuff I got in the mail to show you and some whips too. Um, my name is Chelsea and I am on Instagram at Knit with Chelsea, YouTube Knit with Chelsea, and same for Ravelry. All Knit with Chelsea, S-E-A. Um, okay, so I'm wearing one of my finished projects. This sweater does not have a name yet, but it is a test knit that I just finished for Melissa Kemier. Kremier? Um, I think her Ravelry page is Melissa K Designs. I will put a link down below to her Ravelry, um, her pattern she has for sale, and her Instagram. So I just finished this test knit for her earlier this week, and let me stand up and see if I can show you it. So it's a short sleeve sweater. Um, it's knit all the fingering yarn. This top part is one skein you know, just held single and size, I think I use size eights for the top and then you switch to size seven and then you hold your yarn two together. So to get the gauge all the same. And then it's really simple. And I actually like, this is the first time I've really put on to wear it. It's been really hot here. Um, like today it's in the nineties, but I feel like I've had this on like a skirt. Like I now I feel like I need a jean skirt or something to wear with it. And then like you can see the sleeves, they kind of poof a little bit. You kind of do a decrease on the sleeves. And I just really like how it fits. And it's very lightweight because it's knit with all fingering weight yarn and it's knit on a little bit bigger of a needle, sevens and eights, than you usually would knit. And then one of the funnest parts was, if you can see my little green specks, that little detail. So you kind of, here's the underside, um, you, what is that called? You know, you change yarns and you float it. Um, so the top yarn, let me go to my project page so I can remember all the names. So there's no name yet for this pattern. I will post on my Instagram and link it on my Ravelry page, my project, when she puts the pattern out. I think it might be like her Florida collection. Um, but I do have my test knit. I do pictures up. Well, I need to take some pictures of me actually wearing it. So this top yarn is like a very light cream color with some speckles and it is a little see-through but I think any color would be kind of see-through just because it is a little bit, the holes are a little bit bigger. Um, but this one is Woolen Boon in So Ranculous and I used about half a skein. Like I used 45 out of 100 grams so I have 55 grams left of this color so I could make another one with you know, I have enough to do another top. And I think I knit like her size 34. And then this bottom, the orange is Primrose and it was held, so I had to use two skeins. And I used about, let's see, my Primrose. I used about like, so all together I used 722 yards, but that was two skeins held together. And I do think you just want to get two skeins because you're not going to have 700 yards in one skein of yarn anyway, but you're left with two little bowl, balls of yarn at the end. Um, so almost two full skeins. And then, and it's like a variegated speckle orange, the too hot to handle in the orange. And my little green specks, which I actually like really love this green in this yarn. And I'm kind of sad that I use so much of it but I barely use that much, so I could do a lot. But I did have to, the green specks are also held two together, so I did have to kind of roll a second ball, you know, cut it in half. And I only used 34 yards of the green, so I have um, like almost a whole skein of yarn left out of like 400. Oh, so the green is Woolen Boon Classic Yarn and Ever. So maybe I should make a green one on top. I really, when I put this on to come film this little video, I decided how much I actually love this sweater and I actually feel like it's gonna be a great one to wear in the summer. Um, good for like a night out, like, and I'm really happy with it. I don't always love my arms, but it's okay, right? I like it. And then I finally, so this is a test knit from Melissa and hopefully I will have the pattern 
and stuff linked up in my Ravelry page and I'll link it on Instagram and everything when I'm all the way finished or, or when she puts it out. She hasn't put it out yet. Um, so if you have, let's see, so you need like one, so like four skeins. And for the green, you could just use like a little bit of yarn that you have left over from something. It really went out far a long way. Um, so if you have a, some yarn, two or three in it, skeins, and then maybe some yarn left over for the um, pop of color, the green, it's a fun sweater. So look for that pattern to come out soon. Okay. This is finally, I finished my Blooming Brioche completely, so I just wanted to show it one more time. I really loved how it turned out. Here's the big long end section where the two, there's my pink, my coral crush, and then Bermuda shorts. This was knit in um, long dog yarns. And also that is who did the pattern too. And this pattern is out now, it's on Ravelry. I think brioche though I've decided it's like it is hard and it is I didn't anticipate how long it would take me to knit the shawl um but it's so squishy and comfy I really am loving knitting brioche and I do feel like my brioche after this has gotten so much better so yes this is finally done I would say this shawl will take me maybe like 40 plus hours though to knit just because the brioche sections are long um this sweater though, I knit in like five days. It was so fast. And I didn't have to like stay up crazy hours. I just knit it and it was done. So yeah, so my two test knits. I think that's all test knits that I will be doing for a while. I've kind of like mentally need to give myself a break as my kids are almost ready for summer break. I have a five-year-old in kindergarten and then a three-year-old who's home at me with me and she's not napping anymore. So I just really have to like, I don't have that much daytime knitting and my goal this summer is just to keep them busy and keep them outside and keep them entertained and so I need to like so I've been trying to go to bed earlier um and yeah like I said she doesn't nap so I don't have time during the day like I do knit during the day don't get me wrong but I don't have as much time to knit during the day anymore um and I just want to feel better so I've been going to bed a little bit earlier so I still knit after they go to bed but just not as long and it's I've been feeling good and I also want to start exercising and running again this summer and so I just need to go to bed so I can do that before they are ready to wake up and do stuff in the morning and I've also it's been interesting to me as like I've been outside at playgrounds I feel like I'll have to have a couple works going this summer because there's some things like if I'm using a lace pattern for example I can't bring that to the playground it's just not gonna work so I've been making sure I have like sock and net to knit or some brio or some garter or some hats just simple things that can be packed in my bag and easily knit without needing a pattern or like so much of my brain. Um, but then those other ones will be knit more after they're in bed or maybe the times I let them watch a movie or something. Um, what else do I wanna talk about? Oh, on May 5th, I'm really excited. I am gonna try to like set my, oh, that's like this Saturday. Today, today is May 2nd. I am gonna set an alarm for Saturday, I really want a chance to win, to win, to buy one of the Eden bags from Pink Hazel, Pink Hazel bags. I really want to get an Eden one. It's like, I think I could double it as a purse and I want to get one of those long crossover leather straps that I can wear with it and keep my yarn because I don't have to pack diapers right now in my bag, my purse, and I just want something that I can put my yarn in and also my keys. Um, Another little finished object, I have this little baby hat. Just something simple. My friend just actually adopted a baby. And so they was just born last week. So I thought this, I knit this up in a size that I thought maybe would fit her um, in the winter. So this is, um, I think this is City Tweed DK by Knit Picks. So just a little simple beanie with a bow for a girl. Um, I will next show you some things I got in the mail. Christy Glass, I watched her YouTube video about Chelsea Yarns and I live in Philadelphia, so Chelsea Yarns is in Red Bank, New Jersey. So I'm a little bit far away from her. Um, so I haven't been to that store yet, but she, I watched her interview and then she posted on Instagram that Chelsea Yarns had these. Can you see what it is? It's a wrist roller, a leather one, but it's gold. And I really wanted it. It was a little bit of a 
you know, I told myself I'm really trying to knit through my yarn and not buy anything, but I really liked, and it says, I love handles, Chelsea yarns. So this was made exclusively for her shop. Um, she has a silver and a gold. I got the 16 inch. I wasn't sure what length to get, and I got the 16 inch, and I think it fits good. I feel like I probably could have got 15 too, but you kind of want it to like, do something like that where you cross it over. And I mean, cause maybe 15 would have been like a little bit too tight or maybe it would have been better. It's very light. I was actually surprised how light it felt on my arm and I really liked that. And I'll show you what else I got. I did order, that came in this little thing. So it's called I Love Handles Wrist Ruler and I think must be out of Oregon. So these are made exclusively for her shop. You can order them online or, and I think she sold out in a day of all of the metallic ones. And so she's having like pre-orders go right now and it comes in this cute little tin. I took mine out. Um, yeah. And then I ordered my mom one too. So she probably, hopefully won't see this. And I got her the silver. And I got her a little bit, the 18 inch. So it comes in 15 inches, 16 and 18. So here's the silver. Chelsea yarns. So I think it's a fun, Mother's Day gift for your a knitter, if your mom's a knitter, I think that would be fun to get. I'm not sure how long her pre-orders will get, but I ordered this like Thursday or Friday last week and I got it today, Wednesday. So it's really pretty quick. And and they're, they're like affordable, they're $26. Like about a skein of yarn. And I got a little button, two. Chelsea, it says Chelsea Yarns Lux hand dyed, refined local yarn, Red Bank, New Jersey. And I don't have any buttons actually. Because like I said, I don't know if I said it in my last one, I really don't have that many like fancy project bags. I haven't done a lot of that yet. But I did want to, I'm such, oh, and I got a sticker too. That's cool. ChelseaYarns.com. Kind of fun, it's my name. Whenever I buy yarn, or anything off a website, I always make it so I can get free shipping because I've just decided, you know what, this yarn, I'm going to use it and I don't want to pay shipping. So I got two skeins. I was going to buy like a whole sweater's worth of yarn. I really liked, I really want to do the, um, oh guys, my brain. I'm just looking at my Ravelry cube. I, the por Portage, Portage, what's that a cardigan sweater called? Do, do, do. Portage, Portage by Melissa, ooh, I don't know, Schwarzwery, that's a hard name. Anyway, I was looking at that sweater and she has a lot of, she doesn't have a lot, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Yarns, she does not have a lot of yarn on her website to buy. I think she probably has more in her shop. Um, but I think you could like pre-order color, so I had picked out like this pretty gray or she had a purple and I was like, oh, maybe I'll order like a bunch of yarn um, to make, and I'll buy yarn to make that cardigan. But I really have so much yarn for projects. Um, so I just got two skeins of this instead, and I really love this color. And I've never touched her yarn before, but it really is Lux. So this is Chelsea Yarns Lux hand dyed, and this is in chocolate chip mint. And it's 100% superwash merino, 400 yards, fingering weight. And it is so soft. Like, it's a different, it kind of reminds me of Adelaide by Primrose, the feel of it. It's really like fluffy. And it almost doesn't look like fingering, but when I hold it, when I like pull it, it definitely is. So like, it's just very fluffy. That's how I describe it. It definitely is fingering weight. And this is a really pretty color. I actually really love this color. And I got two skeins because that's helped give me free shipping. Um, but I could see this going really well and maybe my Jelly Roll sweater, maybe this will be my sweater color. Or maybe in like my Alaska or just some, one of my fingering weight sweaters that I have in my queue that I don't have yarn for. Um, anyway. I really like it. I like this color. I think I'm really into green right now, which I am a very much like a pink person um but I really like this green oh I really like it <laughs> so 
Chelsea Yarns. So that's something I got in the mail. I don't have anything else coming in the mail. Hopefully I won't for a while. I'm trying to save my money. Uh, we're, me and my husband are really close to paying off our car, like $700 away, and we need to, we're hoping to redo our bathroom. Just lots of stuff. Then he has student loans, but not too bad. So I really need to save my, at least use the yarn I have before I buy more yarn. Um, I just started this this morning or this afternoon. My kids are out actually right now, so maybe I'll have a little bit more knitting time. But I am starting a baby blanket. So I showed this yarn um, by Tannis Fiber Arts. And it is her baby blanket, which is, sorry, which is called, I'm sorry, I can't remember what the name of it is. The Key Fit Baby Blanket. So it's all these triangles that you kind of, I think at the end I have to steam it together. So I think you make long rectangles of different triangles. And she doesn't really have any like method on which colors you use where. I do have a hole I need to, I'll have to go back and sew. But you just, you're um, doing intarsia, so you're, you know, twisting the yarn over each other so it's nice and tight. Um, but this is a really pretty blue of a little bit of purple and then this is like a turquoisey color so i'm just going to try to like play it by hand but also keep track of what colors i use where because she does have one chart on her pattern saying like you know she gives each yarn like a b or c d and then she shows how she put those ones together so i'm going to try to like give each of my yarn a letter so like this is my b and this is my a and then look at her second panel and then mock up how mine would look too if that makes sense. That's my plan. Cause, oh, and she also gives another one where you can do it like not crazy, like, you know, green, yellow, and like each rectangle would look the same, but I think I'm gonna go for hers. I think it will look better, and I think I can play on like the contrasting colors, so the dark and the light um, going together. And it's a really simple knit, like it's all, garter and a little bit of increasing and decreasing. Um, well, I guess like stuck in it, not garter. Oh, my bag. I can't open my bag. I broke the little thing. Okay, so here's some other colors that I have. So it's lots of blues and grays. So I have lots of colors to play with. And then once you seam the whole thing together, um, I want yellow. Then you do like an edging around the whole thing. But I really am loving her yarn. I think it's like her Pure Wash DK. And it's like it's supposed to be machine washable, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's good for a baby blanket. And hopefully since it's DK, I mean I wouldn't wouldn't knit a blanket. Ugh. I wouldn't knit a baby blanket out of fingering yarn. So I think since it's DK, it should hopefully be a quick knit, but I think it is a little bit more work since you have to then like sew all the panels together. Um, but anyway, I'm excited for it. I think this one, I don't think I could take it to the playground. I think it is going to be more a mental thing because I think I have to plan out the colors a little bit more. Um, oh, I was going to grab my all my stitches. I'm almost done with my all my stitches shawl by Hedgehog Fibers. That's one that I can easily do when the kids are playing outside and I don't need to think, you know, I can knit up quick. But I'm hoping that maybe I can keep like get projects this summer to a certain point in the evenings that during the day it'll be a quick knit for me or like an easy knit. Um, I still have my sofa faded sweater and that, oh, I think I'm just on the stock in that part. So that would be one I could just go to the park and do a bunch of stock in it. Anyway, um, a shorter video today, but check out, look for this pattern. I'll link it below once it's available and I'll post on my Instagram page too when it's available. And yeah, hopefully this would, I definitely would recommend this sweater as a summer knit project and I also think it's a pretty simple easy knit like it's mostly like it's you know there's nothing on the sides it's just you make the top and you increase for the shoulders and then you switch and then you just have to you know you have to carry your arms over so you have a lot of balls that you're working with but and then the end is just ribbing and then you cast on a couple rows for the shoulders so I would say it's a pretty simple summer knit and I think it's gonna be really fun to wear. So thanks Melissa for letting me test knit and happy knitting.